お姉ちゃんのバカいいのいいに決まってんじゃん気持ち悪い What are girls made of? Nitori asks the question at the start of Wandering Sun, a story of two trans kids grappling with their gender identity, puberty, and relationships, adapted from Takako Shimoda's original manga. As a straight cis male, Wandering Sun's greatest value for me is in its perspective. It highlights how important it is to be cognizant of the limitations of your own perspective and understand others. There's an inherent divide between perspective and experience. How you make sense of the things around you doesn't necessarily line up with how others experience them. But can you bridge that gap? We're all forced to view things through our own lens, yes, but we still control what that filter sees. It's in our attempts to change our filter, to see things the way others do, that we come to understand their experience, to feel empathy. Wandering Sun, or Hodo Musuko, is a remarkable achievement in how seamlessly it puts you inside the mind of Nitori, regardless of whether you can relate to her feelings of dysphoria. For a person who doesn't share Nitori's experience, I believe I came to understand it, or at least to the extent with which I can, and in doing so, I felt it. Nitori's story is as empowering as it is heart-wrenching. The inspiring courage she shows in wearing a girl's uniform is met with a punishing rejection. For one, it illustrates the standard of masculinity society holds boys to. A girl wears a boy's uniform to school and she's a tomboy. A boy dresses as a girl and he's a freak. Too many people still view masculinity as a sign of strength, while femininity is weakness, especially in men. It's a product of the pressure to adhere to strict gender roles, but also countless years of a patriarchal society adding up. Nitori's outcast treatment is sad in how unsurprising it is. Even her friends and closest confidants attempt to persuade her not to take this step, knowing the backlash it would entail. They don't laugh at Chi or Takatsuki, Nitori says. Only me, as the screen cuts to black. Director A. Aoki uses this trick again and again to pull you into Nitori's isolation. I want to be like Takatsuki, cut to black. I want to be comfortable. I'm nervous, but I've made up my mind, cut to black. I've made up my mind. It's such an effective way of throwing you into Nitori's headspace. It's wild to think the same person who directed All Noah Zero and Fate Zero also directed this carefully framed, beautifully composed work. Or that the person who wrote Black Butler and Mayoiga penned such an intimate portrayal of human experience. Though Mari Okada is certainly no stranger to tapping deep emotional wells. Some people want to cleanly define gender as a whole, but I think it goes without saying that everyone's experience is different. Wandering Sun excellently showcases how two people grapple with these feelings of gender dysphoria, the varying difficulties they go through because of it, and how those experiences affect their feelings towards one another. I'm thrilled this anime exists and would love to see more like it. There's not a lot of stories genuinely dedicated to trans experiences in anime. More often than not, it's relegated to a cheap footnote, or worse, treated like a joke, falling into a host of gross stereotypes. It's really refreshing to see an anime not only handle the subject with care, but so vividly capture its characters' experiences with it. Representation in media matters. A lot. Anyone who tells you otherwise has gotten so used to seeing themselves in it, they've lost sight of how precious that connection is. It's in experiencing reflections of ourselves in media that we learn the most about us. Who better to empathize with than someone who's shared your experience? How it must feel to be told you can't be you. I've had the privilege of never having to know what that's like, when being who you are comes at such great personal cost. And yet, Nitori does it anyway. Countless times, Nitori takes on the threat of further isolation and even physical harm to be herself. And all the while, I thought, what remarkable strength that must take. I can't share Nitori's experience, but I can see it from her perspective. I don't often use the phrase required viewing, but Wandering Sun more than deserves it. Now I'm off to go read the manga. Shit. This video was chosen by my donors on Patreon. If you'd like to vote on the next series I cover for BacklogBot, go to patreon.com slash jackuts and pledge $1. The poll for May is already up. A big thank you to everyone who voted this past month.